With the NBA back in full swing this week, I thought now would be a perfect time to create a video to show you how you can get paid by the NBA. Yes, you can make money $100 per day, $200 per day, as much as really you'd like, you could get paid by the NBA to talk about the NBA. So in this video, it's gonna be broken down into two parts. I'm gonna talk about traffic strategy, so how you can get in front of people that are also interested in the NBA, how you can make money from it, and more. Hello, my name is Alston Godbolt with AustinGodbolt.com. I create content to help you make money online. Now, if you wanna be added to that globe that is behind me, simply reply with your city, state, province, or country, and I will get you added. Now, earlier this week, the NBA got back into full swing. So people are going to be talking about the NBA and creating content about the NBA. In fact, you could be talking about the NBA. You should be talking about the NBA. Anyway, uh, people are going to be craving information about players and teams and insights and new news and rumors, all sorts of stuff about the NBA. And this is going to be your opportunity to make money. So what we're going to do in the first part, as I mentioned, is we're going to talk about traffic. So how to get in front of people that are also interested in the NBA. And then we're going to talk about how we can turn that traffic into money in a variety of ways. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right. So Traffic, that basically means eyeballs. What you wanna do is you want to create content with regard to the NBA. Now, most people, when they first get started, they make the mistake of being too general. So instead of just talking about individual teams or players, they focus on the NBA as a whole. That is the wrong way to go. What you wanna do is you wanna focus on individual teams and players so that you can build a core fan base and audience. So let me show you some examples of people that are talking about the NBA the right way. The first one over here on TikTok, which would be potentially the fastest way, is you can see here that I just typed in LA Lakers and that's gonna be the focus of this video, but you can apply this to any of the teams in the NBA. But you can see here, uh, Bill Simmons, who's well known, 134,000 views, but a bunch of these guys are no name guys, uh, regular people like me and you, average Joes, and they're getting hundreds of thousands of views, if not millions of views, simply talking about the NBA and in this instance, NBA Lakers. Now what you can do with your TikTok account, and we're gonna look at other ways as well, is you can talk about, as I mentioned, news and rumors we can talk about game highlights now you got to be careful with what you show because uh, the L, the the nba will uh, copyright claim you if you're on youtube uh, you can talk about insights you can talk about stats you can talk about old players compared to them the new players lots of opportunity you can talk about game highlights as i mentioned um, you can see people are doing this successfully over on YouTube, you can provide funny commentary. That actually works really well. There's a number of, of, of TikTok accounts that have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of followers talking about um, providing satire and adding comedy to the different games. Another thing you can take a look at is people are going to Google and Bing and they're looking up different things. NBA Lakers roster. Uh, LA Lakers, LeBron James, LA Lakers owner, and you can create content around that. These people are interested in the LA Lakers. And so, and again, you can apply this to any of the teams and you can create content, whether it's a blog post, a YouTube video. For example, we could grab um, LA Lakers coaches. Let's grab this one like this, copy that. And we can put this right into YouTube and you can see that people are searching and they wanna know more about the LA Laker coaches. And again, this is gonna be your opportunity, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But you can see that people are going to various places on the internet. You can do this on Reddit. You could do this on Instagram. I'm gonna show you actually uh, with Facebook. You could start a Facebook group. Now look at all of the people that are a part of these Facebook groups. 21,000 members, 90,000 members, 136,000 members, uh, 35,000 members. So getting in front of a targeted audience that is interested in a sports team, in this instance, the LA Lakers, is not difficult. You just wanna make sure that you are be being consistent when you create content. And the content is kind of laid out for you. One secret, chip, one secret tip that I would recommend is to listen to sports talk radio. Um, and when you listen to sports talk radio, listen to the topics that they are covering. So if we do this, once again, I just typed in LA Lakers into Twitter, and you can see, once again, people are creating tons of content about the LA Lakers. Okay, so traffic is not going to be your problem. You're going to have a lot of people coming to your page, whether they are Laker fans, whether they are arguing about the Lakers, they, they're saying they're overrated, whatever it may be. We've got the traffic. Now we wanna talk about all of the different ways that you can monetize. 
One of the easiest ways to monetize is to sell LA Laker merchandise or NBA merchandise. And one of the best ways to do it is with the NBA store. Now the NBA store has what's called an affiliate program. And the way that this works is you are going to get unique URLs called affiliate links, and you're going to put those links in the description of your content. So if you're doing a TikTok video, you can link them. You can put a link in your bio. If you're doing a YouTube video, you can put links to the different jerseys in your bio. Same thing with a Facebook group. You can add a pinned post that has a link to the Laker jerseys or Laker, Laker merchandise. You can do this within a blog as well. But the NBA store, which is the official store of the NBA, will pay you. And uh, this pays off my thumbnail. They will pay you to create content. People will come to your channel, come to your account. They are going to click on your affiliate link and they're going to purchase jerseys and hats and coats and anything and everything. When they purchase, you can earn a commission. The cool thing is, is you just grab your affiliate links, you post them. Now, let's say you don't get accepted into the NBA affiliate program. There's other options. You could also do the same thing with the with Amazon. Amazon also has an affiliate program and you can promote all sorts of stuff that you find on Amazon. Again, you'll get paid a commission um, or a percentage of the sale for any products or services that you recommend. If you, you, you can also take a completely different route. Look at this. Um, I'm on a website called offervault.com. They will pay you to have people stream the different games. Now look at this for a second. Uh, United States Sports Streaming, video on demand. They will pay you $22 to add their name to your the landing page. But there are other options as well. There are different streaming platforms. For example, Hulu has an affiliate program um, FUBU for you by us, I believe the, the streaming platform, but these different programs will pay you and you can actually meld these all together with something called email marketing. But as you can see, there are tons of different opportunities, but wait, there's more. You can also look at StubHub. So you could put, you could become an affiliate for StubHub and say, Hey, look, if you want to go to the game, you want to go to the, the Bucks game here in Wisconsin, click the link for the best deals and the best prices with the StubHub affiliate program, they click on your link, they go to a game, you can make money. There's also affiliate programs for sports betting. For example, FanDuel has an affiliate program as well. So hopefully you're able to see that the NBA and, and sports in large, if we scope out a little bit, they will pay you for creating content about them. And the great thing with the NBA and sports is that the content will keep presenting itself opportunities. For example, the NBA, they have 82 plus games. You can create the content there. Now, what I recommend that you do, as I mentioned in the beginning, is simply create content about an individual team. The reason why you want to do that is so that you can build a core fan base. Now, once you start getting lots of followers and you become as big as Bill Simmons, you can focus on the NBA at large. Um, another thing that I want to show you were different podcasts. Look at this. I searched LA Laker podcast and there are tons of different podcasts that focus on just the LA Lakers. If we look at podcasts, uh, if we look at player.fm, it has a list of the best Laker podcasts and you can see all of the different streams that they have. You can see what they focus on and you can do this too. You can do this for any and every team and you can make money in a number of ways. If you are going the podcast route, you can make money by having ads. If you're creating YouTube videos about the LA Lakers, you can get paid by the YouTube partner program. If you are doing blog posts, you can get paid by Google AdSense. There are a number of opportunities to make money simply talking about something that you love and that you're interested in. Now look at this video here. Um, I just typed in LA Lakers coaches, 9,000 views from a year ago. Uh, this one, 2.6 million views. This one right here, 179,000 views. You can see that there are lots of people that are interested in this type of content and you're just creating content about the LA Lakers. Now, the, the what I was looking for is this one right here. This one only has 8,000 subscribers, 14,000 views, where uh, they actually provide a full game recap between two teams. You can see large channels and small channels alike are showing up in the result search results. And so you can see, look at this, Los Angeles Lakers October game schedule, uh, only 26,000 subscribers, 4,000 views. Look at this one right here, 11.9 thousand subscribers, 732 thousand views from two months ago. Lots of opportunity to be successful with 
talking about the MBA. Watch this video next because YouTube thinks this is the best video for you.